Hi guys, uh, welcome to another review. Uh, this time I'm gonna review Gone Girl. I saw Gone Girl yesterday, and um, starring Ben Affleck and Rosamund Pike as the two main characters. The movie is about uh, Ben Affleck and Rosamund Pike are married to each other, and then one day Rosamund Pike has been disappeared, gone from the home, and that's from the beginning of the movie. That's how it starts. And and it starts as a mystery movie, and then it turns into a very surreal uh, movie about relationship, and you know, and 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 also what, how, what can drive a person to the edge, and um, yeah, is that is good. It's uh, it's directed by David Fincher, and Dave, and to me, David Fincher is a hit and miss director for me because sometimes his movie is not to my liking but I have to admit that he has a certain star, certain flair and um, his movies I think is turning, moving towards more and more surrealism uh, than reality based and it's also the kind of movie this Gone Girl also, is also a kind of movie that uh, I think is perfect that I wouldn't change a thing about the movie you know, sometimes when I see Transformers or Man of Steel or um, some of the action flicks or some of the latest movies, I would say, you know what, I can do better than that. I think they should have done this or should have done that. Uh, but Gone Girl is a movie that can stand on its own. It's quite, it's, I wouldn't touch it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say, it. I wouldn't edit a thing about it. It's, it's that good. Uh, unlike David Fincher's other movie like Alien 3, <laughs> it sucks. Okay, back to this movie, I think, uh, yeah, I like the fact that it's layered, it's not uh, just a mystery movie, it's also about the psychological aspect of relationships, and how, and what can make a person do crazy things, and uh, as the movie progress, you get to know two of these characters very well, and um, Rosamund Pike did a great job. And also Ben Affleck did a great job. Uh, both are superb. Uh, if you're thinking that you're gonna choose sides, don't. <laughs> because who's the wrong? The story will always ask this question. Who? I mean, it will ever tell you just throw a question to you, the audience is, who's right, who's wrong? Whether the Ben Affleck character or Rosamund Pike character is right or wrong. So I like the fact that they present this kind of thing to uh, to. To misguide you, you know, it's to mislead you, kind of thing. And I love, I love the approach. I love the mechanism. I li like David Fincher is very well in his good times and his good movies like Fight Club or The Game. I, I would say that he he knows how to 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 create that storyline, how to create that kind of suspense and a re revealing, you know, kind of thing. It is good and. Uh, you know, um, what can I say about this movie? Uh, uh, it really stunned me because I have to warn you, the audience, right now that I'm going to spit spoiler that the sound of the, vo the movie is a bit violent, and 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 I was taken aback by a few uh, few scenes where Ben Affleck hit Rosamund Pike. This looks like somebody got really hit, which I think is a really disturbing part. <clears throat> of the movie, I mean of the message. I'm not saying the movie is trying to be chauvinistic, which it has that kind of message that the guy is chauvinistic. But keep in mind that the movie is uh, is based on a book written by a girl uh, in 2012. Gone Girl was written by a, a, a woman, and the woman writer is also the screenplay for this movie. So. The, the brutal scenes where Ben Affleck, I think there were two or three scenes where he actually physically harmed Rosamund Pike. Justifiably or not, this is not argumentative. That is wrong. That is so brutal. So when I saw it, I was like, whoa, I was taken aback by it. And But then I, I figured out, okay, this is what the writer intended. The writer intended for you to see this kind of thing. And... At the end of the movie, I support. I I I end up backing up, backing Rosamund Pike 
understand the madness that she went through and how Ben Affleck actually triggered her madness and I, I, I like that I like that aspect of it it it, it, it wants to tell a, a bigger message about relationship and uh, um, the male and female relationship and brutality in the marriages and you know and, and it, it does so very well and um, I, I'm trying to find uh, I'm trying to uh, trying to say to find weaknesses to the story I can't find any weaknesses story to the story it is a bit long but I never feel it was a bit long uh, I would have cut yeah like I said I would have not do anything else to the movie it's quite good as its own this is also kind of movie that made me want to read the original novel very few movies make me do that you know movies based on novels that I would just skip skip over like, I don't want to do I don't want to read the book but this one makes me want to read the book it's that good uh, so I think this movie gonna have some Oscar nominees at its Golden Globes because it is something fresh something adult I want to say adult in terms of maturity it make it talks about adult subject you know uh, mature subjects about relationship and it presents it in a very surrealistic way sometimes over the top kind of thing but I understand David Fincher is heading towards that I think uh, the, his approach has always gone in towards towards something more super realistic hyper realistic but it's beyond that it's going to surrealism uh, which I like and and I end up watching this movie uh, in terms of uh, as a cinematographer, directorial aspect. I was looking at its angles and its coloring. The color, the coloring actually won me over. Somehow I, I like the coloring, how it colors the scene, how it colors the character skin and tone, very nice. Uh, and how, like I said, his director, his directing here is superb. Um, is and. You know, it's always been. I think he's gonna be the best in the business. That's always he's, he's always been the best in the business. I just gonna come back to Ben Affleck act, acting. Ben Affleck and Rosamund Pike really has a, been a lot of accolades been uh, thrown at them because of this movie, and I I I like both of their acting. And I would say that in terms of the character, I'm more for Rosamund Pike. I always love Rosamund Pike for. For many many of her movies that have always been i always like her movies she's really good ben affleck i used to hate his acting but slowly been growing on me because you know this guy he plays actually is especially is quite good because he's playing a flawed character and i like that about this movie it's about realism a bit and surrealism a bit that human beings are not perfect they have flaws so you see the flaws of the ben affleck character and flaws of Rosamund Pike, but you can see who's gonna trigger the, each other. They trigger each other into madness, and more on Ben Affleck faults and uh, as a human guy. So I like the movie. Really, try not to, or, you know, even though the messaging was trying to say, oh, I'm right, she's wrong, or she's right, he's wrong. But you can make all your own judgment uh, uh, during the story. Like both have flaws. And but I do understand why she end up that way, and you know, and and I end up sympathizing with uh, Rosamund Pike character more. I know this is a long review, but it's such a good movie. This is a movie I would uh, buy on Blu-ray, definitely for the drama. For the drama, I think that everything is superb. Um, yeah, would I watch it again? Of course. It's it's such a good movie. It's such a a thing that you can discuss with your with your friends with your partners and it's always good when you see it, when they take um the writer of that of a move uh, of the book and then also hire her as a screenwriter and so you can see the messaging is not lost because sometimes in other book uh, movies uh, book to movies uh book to film movies <laughs> They lost some of the messaging, you know. Uh, this is true, almost true to the to the book. I was told, so it's kind of good. I'm gonna check the book after this and uh, uh, and look read read deeper into the messaging. But I like it. I like it's a great movie. Uh, hopefully, you guys have the the time to catch it and definitely a Blu-ray movie for me. 
I know it's a long winded in the review, but it's such a good movie. I can't help myself. So thank you guys for watching.